All right, so we're all set up with our third test look. Uh, basically, we got a black background, sort of a more relaxed look. Uh, we're going to be switching between having the model sitting down, standing up. Um, so we've got two lights on this setup here. Our main light is up here. It's the Para 88. It's the same one we used for the last look. Uh, we're going to use it again here. And then we've got a fill coming in off uh, camera left. Uh, and that's just going to fill in some of the shadows, add a little bit of light to the background. Otherwise, uh, everything was looking pretty dark. So um, it's going to be a fairly kind of low-key shot. Um, the shirt's really going to pop out against that black background. As far as power settings go, I'm at uh, F7 on my camera, 1 200th, and uh, ISO 100. And this main light here is at uh, 7.4 uh, out of a possible 10. And our fill light is at 6.5. So um, you may think that's pretty powerful for a fill, but because the diffuser is so large, um, it is still a lot more dim than our main light. So um, this is probably going to be a good starting point, and we'll see if we need to adjust some of these settings. Uh, as you can see, again, we backed off the main light quite a bit so that we get top to bottom lighting on our model. Uh, the background is going to go fairly dim, so this is another example of why it's good to shoot tethered, because uh, what we'll see is we're actually going to have to use some of the uh, shadow sliders inside of Capture One to pull back some of that detail from the background. Uh, a lot easier just to pull it out inside of our raw converter than trying to light that background. Um, we can still stick with two lights uh, without having to add tons of extra stuff for the background uh, to make it even. So we're gonna take our shot, we're gonna adjust some settings and um, we'll see what we need to do as far as lighting power. All right, Olivia, so uh, just where you are is good. Let's just take a test shot and see how it's looking. All right, so we're not too bad. The uh, shirt looks fairly bright here. So let me just see if I can recover some more of that highlight detail. We're actually already uh, pushing this up. So if I actually don't have any recovery, we're down here. Um, so as you can see, the shirt is like super bright. We're starting to lose detail in it as we kind of pull this in. Uh, we're getting some more out, but then the shirt's going gray. So uh, because we have to go so high, I think that would suggest that we need to go down in power overall. Uh, our shadow slider, if we kind of start playing with this, you'll see we can start pulling some of the detail out of the background here. So um, let's go ahead and leave our shadow slider at about 10 here. That's going to pull in some detail from the background, uh, leave our highlight slider at zero, and just change our power a little bit here. So I'm going to drop our main light down by uh, two fifths. So we're going to go down to 7.0 and see if we're getting a little more detail in that shirt. Okay, so that's looking better. I know she's looking a little bit dim now, um, but still more than enough detail to pull off of. Um, we can definitely use the shadow sliders to get a little more detail out of her skin, so that's fine. Um, and then again, if we start playing with the highlight slider here, uh, I think we can get a pretty good balance. So that's probably gonna be a pretty good start. I, I might change the power on the fill light. Let's just see what it looks like if we just brighten it slightly. Uh, and then I think we'll have a pretty good starting point. All right. So just went up half a stop on the fill light. So it's at 7.0 and then our main light's at 7.0. So uh, again, they're not going to be necessarily even just because of the size difference in them. But let's see if that just fills things in a little bit better. All right, so I think I'm pretty happy with that. We still have nice contrast, but uh, we're able to pull out a lot of that detail without messing too much with the shadow and highlight slider. So lots of information there, and I think we're ready to start shooting. Now, only thing I'm not sure about is whether I want a brown stool in there or a black stool. Let's try and grab a black one, see how that looks. Thanks, Olivia. Just slide this guy in there. So this guy's square. You don't definitely don't have to rotate it around, okay? All right. Let's see how that is. Yeah, I think I like the black one more. It's just, I don't know, doesn't seem to attract the eye as much as the brown one. Um, we don't really want it to be, you know, a central focus, just a prop. So. 
Uh, we're going to stick with black there, and I think we're pretty good to start shooting. All right. <laughs> 